This video is a recording or a record of a test that we conducted where we compared in grain to in grain gluing with and without a sizing technique. In the sizing technique, we actually coat each of the ends of the board with uh, some glue or a glue water mixture to size it before we make the glue up. Uh, in, in my memory, this gives you a much stronger joint than just with the uh, conventional ingrain to ingrain gluing. So I'm going to test this and see if this technique really works out and we can really get a much stronger joint by doing the sizing. Okay, this is the glue up of the various pieces. The ones on the left are the ones that have been sized. The ones on the right have not. Uh, so they're clamped up now. I'm going to wait a few hours for these to uh, get cured. And then we're going to do some tests and see how these joints stand up. Okay, I've got four samples set out here. Uh, these two are side grain glue joints. Those are in grain glue joints down there. This one uh, was not sized before I made the joint. This one I sized the joint before I glued it up. And we're going to add some weights and just see what happens. I have no idea whether I've got enough weights here to work or not. But we're going to start out with the one here that's not sized. And I'm going to put a three pound weight in. Put in another three pound weight, we're up to six. Another three pound weight, so we're up to nine. Another three pound weight, we're up to 12. And then I'm going to add a six, which will get us up to 18. And the joint didn't fail. Okay? Now, what I'll do in the blog is I'll calculate the actual foot-pounds of torque that I put on this joint because I'll need to take some measurements here in order to do that. But uh, right now we're just testing to see if we can get it to fail. That's three pounds. That's another three pounds. Another three pounds. Another three pounds. And then this is the six pounds. And the joint didn't fail. It did bend the screw eye a little bit, but the joint, joint hasn't failed. You didn't have the opportunity to witness this test, but I went over to these two side grain uh, joints that I'd made, and I whacked those with a the hammer or with the weight and uh, the, neither joint failed but the wood broke and of course it broke right here uh, where the most resistance to the torque was so it just snapped both those off so the joint didn't give the wood gave before the joint did so I'll try to come up with another way of testing these two joints uh, that are ingrain joints to see if I can come up with something that's a little bit more uh, scientific uh, and give us a little better information. Okay, I've got the two boards now uh, anchored. The joint is just a little bit in front of the edge of the table there. Uh, I'm going to do the one that's not sized first. Uh, I'm going to put these weights in. There's uh, three pounds. Another three pounds. Another three pounds. Hopefully the bucket will hold together with all of this. Another three pounds. Another three pounds. And we're up to 12 pounds. This is six. That's going to be 18 pounds. I don't know how much these things are, but these are really heavy. This may either break the bucket or string or something's going to give here maybe, but maybe not. We'll see. Mm, 
Okay, nothing's given yet. This is the last weight we've got, so we've got a lot of weight on this joint. And that's holding. And that is a glued ingrained to ingrained joint with no sizing. And I didn't even get so much as a creak out of that joint. Okay, so let's pull these weights off. Okay, we're going to redo it now with uh, the joint that was sized. And I'm going to do the same thing. Start adding weights. Three pounds. Three pounds. Three pounds. Three pounds. Six. So now we're up to 18 pounds. Oops, this would be 18 pounds with this three. These I think are 10 pounds a piece. Add on. So we've got, if those are 10 a piece, we've got probably 28 pounds hanging off the end of this board and the joint hasn't failed yet. It has bowed the board, the tape, my tabletop is bowed down a little bit because of all the weight, but the joint hasn't broken. All right. I'm going to try a wackadoodle here, see if I can break this joint. I'm probably not going to have any luck. And all I'm doing is tearing up the edge of this workbench here and whacking that joint as hard as I can whack it. And neither one of the joints failed. This had no sizing at all. This is just end grain to end grain. Okay, this is going to be a kind of a reenactment. Uh, I didn't really video the uh, two joint tests that I did, unfortunately. So I went ahead and super glued the joint back together and showed you the setup here. And basically what I did was I just pushed down here until the joint broke. And that was it. I mean, that's basically what I did. And of course, with the super glue on there, it's not much of a joint. But uh, that's that's how the test was conducted. And as I said in the in the blog, there was a significant uh, difference in the force that it took to break the joint that had been sized versus the joint that hadn't been sized.